also help you by dealing with the problem at source. Much as we are blaming you, we are also responsible for allowing ethanol to get into this region. So we'll deal with it at source. Nanyini, the way Minister Mesema wa Interior, all the illegal establishment, within the 10 days, you must not only shut them down, but take those people to court. And if we find one in your area of jurisdiction, Aki Amungu Zaida Nyumbani. Aki. An illegal establishment, we have been told there are 2,800. Mutaheda musifunge na iyo watu waende kotini. Mukikula hongo siyendele, iyo hongo diyo utaheda nae mpaka siku utakufa. There will be no other income from government. Those illegal establishments, you close them, that's your work. The illegal ones, mutuachie. Sisi wenyewe, na watu ya KRA, watu ya counterfeit, watu ya caps, National Police Service at a higher level will deal with it. Nyinyi mudilu na this illicit ones. Kwa bangi, hiyo ni yenu because there is no establishment that has been licensed to sell bangi. So hiyo una excuse. Una. Na hiyo watu muna wajua. So please, let's agree and do what we need to do and all will be well. Finally, governors, my sister and my brothers, mumetuangusha kidogo. Hata vile tunalamu hawa, hata nyinyi muketafuta revenue. You have licensed everybody to be a bar and restaurant. Kila mutu katika hii area. Bar and restaurant hile sisi tunajua ni kama hile hoteli mimi na lala pale meru. Iko na rooms, karibu 40. Iko chakula, iko kila kitu, iko mvinyo kidogo ya kutafuta usingisi which is okay. Kwa wale ambaye wanataka kutafuta usingisi na jia hiyo. Sasa njini magavana mumeenda kwa shopping center. There are 10 establishments. One is a shop. Another one is a small hotel. Eight of them are bar and restaurant. Na diyo isimekana hiko na chakula, hapo inje, hiko mutura na smokies. And you decide that is a bar and restaurant. Hapo inje tu, just near the door, hiko jiko hapo, hiko mutura hapo mutu, anakitegeneza, and unaseba hiyo ni bar and restaurant. Hata nyi mumetuangusha. The truth of the matter is that this problem was compounded with the advent of devolution. Before, when the DC was chairing the liquor licensing court, it was a very strict affair. And only those people doing the right thing were licensed. When governors came, wakitavuta revenue, ukilipa two receipt application, you use that one as a license. So kila mutu anauza pombe, anauza kila kitu. We are asking the governors to consider, we are requesting you with a lot of humility, when we leave here, if you agree, you do what people have done. Sit down with your county commissioner, police commander, NACADA, and review the licenses the way we are doing at the national government. Shut down most of these places. I want to thank the governor of Moranga, Irongo Kangata, Muti Barua. He has made a bold decision. He has shut down 1,800 establishments. Iyo watu wanamulima. Kisiyasa, hawa 1,800. Lakini ye, alikuwa na kura, elfu miya ine. Sasa 1,800 minus 400,000 is negligible. Hii watu wanakunyu wa wanarara kwa mutaro, hawa sisi ya tatu na aja nae. Kwaza wamepotesha kitabulisho, so they cannot even vote for you. <laughs> On the day of voting, they are drunk. So, let political leaders not fear this exercise. We don't want to take you the route Uhuru Kenyatta took you because aliumisa nyinyi. Alimuambia nyinyi muka mwaga pombe. Iyo hapana kazi enu. How can I remember of parliament when to go kwa na kumuwa pombe? What he had failed to do is to know his men were not working. So he said ya kuambia wafanya kazi, akaambia MP wakafanya kazi ya polisi. Na MP wakapata shida mingi sana. Because when mutu mechaguliwa, sasa pombe ya mutu taeda kumuwa on what ground. Let these people do their work. What we are asking the members of parliament here is to oversight. Oversight for us.